Hello? Hello? Let me know if you can hear me. Let me know if you can see what's going on. There's no tech support today. So if this goes wrong, then it's just going to be wrong forever. So that's an added layer of fun. I'll probably only be here for half an hour, maybe an hour. Those of you who are regulars in my streams or know me well, will know that. You know the deal. You better be fast. I don't stick around long. <laughs> right. Let's wax seal this month's Patreon reward prints. They're all here, sealed, ready to go. I've got the wax all laid out. Do you think you can, can you guess the theme from the color? This one is not as obvious as all the other ones have been. So if you think you figured out the pattern, this might throw it off a little bit. But like I said, we're just adding a little bit of extra space. <laughs> I'm using the same candle. Look at how gross that's getting. Still, we carry on. Okay. Time for me to completely mess up all of my camera settings by changing how bright the stuff down here is by lighting this candle. I do this every time. I realize that and I'm never going to learn. I'm going to have to light the candle on camera and then adjust all the settings every time. Let's do it. Wow. Okay, the one time I was prepared and it hasn't actually changed it at all. Magic of summer, I suppose. The lighting's a lot more fickle in winter. So, as well as these blue chips, I've got this transparent wax. I have used this before. I used it last, um, was it last December? No, it might have been this time last year, actually. Um, I used the clear wax with a little bit of red. Maybe some of you remember that. This one, I'm using the clear wax with a little bit of blue. Just, you know, keep, keep thinking in your head what it might be. Obviously, I suppose patrons already know, don't you? Or you've seen, you've not seen the full thing yet, but you know, patrons have seen the process, the work in progress some behind the scenes shots of what I was doing and a bunch of other stuff, you know, just if you're curious and you want to join me on Patreon and see more of what I'm doing, that is way too much wax. Oh my goodness. Okay. Ah, you know what? Too bald. Fuck it. No face cam today. I forgot, honestly. <laughs> I would I would come up with a better excuse, but I actually just fully forgot until right now that I sometimes put on a face cam. Melting flax. See, see, the lighting is all changed. I think it's because partially because I use a black table with all these white envelopes. So the lighting just sort of varies and fluctuates a bunch, but whatever, 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 right? We're just here to hang out. If you expected professionalism from me, then you're gonna be disappointed. I'm very sorry about that. That's a lie, I'm not that sorry. <laughs> Is Sunday a good time to do live streams? I honestly thought about waiting to do this until tomorrow afternoon and giving people more of a warning, you know, scheduling it in advance, letting people know that I was going to do a live stream. But then I realized that because tomorrow was Monday, I could take all of these to the post office and just have this work be done and over with right at the start of the week. And that was too tempting. So I did this really last minute stream. And we're just all going to have to live with it, I suppose. Sunday evenings might be a good time for streaming regularly. Even though by regularly, I mean once a month, because obviously these are monthly Patreon rewards. 
Although I have been thinking about doing drawing streams again, because I still use the Draw Me Lou Graves tag on Instagram. So I use that tag for reference photos and inspiration and stuff. So if you post something on Instagram and you're cool with me using it as a reference or you're cool with me drawing you, tag it with Draw Me Lou Graves. And I might. I really might. I do it quite a lot. And you know, if it turns out nice, I'll post it online. And if it turns out terrible, you'll you'll never know about it. You'll never see it. And no one will be any the wiser. <laughs> oh, the flax is melting so slowly. But it is melting, I'm pretty sure. I'm very tempted to touch it, but we've played that game before, right? I still have a scar from that blob of wax I dropped on me two months ago. See? Yeah. Still no background music either. I always forget. I think it's because I just don't think about streaming that much until I'm actually going to do it. And then, well, we're here, aren't we? <laughs> blue wax inside the clear wax has actually got a really cool effect right now. Do you see that? It's like flowing into itself. Don't touch the wax. I'm going to touch the wax. I'm going to touch the hot wax. First one's always the slowest because the metal needs to heat up as well. Okay, I think that's good. It's not melted enough and the seal comes out badly, then whichever patron this is, I'm very sorry. I messed it up. Clear wax stays sticky for a lot longer than the other colours. Okay, well, that'll force me to work slower, I suppose. Oh my god, look at all these threads. A little bit of blue, a little bit more clear wax. Let it melt. Look at that. I love the metallic coloured wax mixed with the clear stuff. It's a very interesting effect. I think it makes it look like water. I would like to try and use either my phone or another camera to get a real close up on what I'm doing, but I've kind of got. My hands are busy while I'm doing these. I'm sure we'll find a way. We'll find a way. Once I've done this next one, I'll see if I can find a way to do that. Swish it. Swish the wax. Swish the wax. Hello. Anarchy never dies. I love that name. That's so good. 
welcoming. I'm just chilling. Wax sealing. You know how it is. Lazy Sunday afternoon. The stream is probably really dark because the the lighting is messed up. It's a whole thing. It's a whole thing, but it's fine. It's fine. We live, we learn, we move on. Do this every time. Okay, I think I'm almost ready. The flax is almost melted enough to do the second one. Almost. And then I've got to wait because the clear wax is so much stickier. But it's fine. I guess that'll give me time to set up my phone and see if I can get a close up of what I'm doing at the same time as streaming it. Imagine I thought of these things before I started. That would be just so much more functional. But that's not how we live life. Ooh. Might have cracked this, might have nailed it. Just ignore what's going on over here. <laughs> ignore the extra setup. Yeah, okay. Might have figured it out. Okay, is this solid enough? Yes. Perfect. Okay. Blue wax. A little more clear wax. And then we wait for it to melt. I really like this one. It kind of looks like water, which is what I'm going for. I was at the beach yesterday and I've just been enjoying swimming, swimming in the sea and rivers and wherever else there is water. Thank you. I'm glad you think so too. I'm really, really pleased with how that one turned out. The clear wax mixed with any colour just gives it a really interesting effect, I think. I did a set of seals last year with a little bit of red in the clear, the clear wax and that was, that was interesting too. Milk, 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 milk the pudding. It won't milk quickly, it will melt very slowly, as is the nature of wax. Oh, 
Oh, you saw the red one as well? Awesome. I don't think I did a live stream of that one, but I definitely made um, short videos of it. At this time, I'm going for water. Honestly, the way the coloured wax looks melting into the clear wax is kind of fascinating to me as well. Speaking of short videos, I'm going to try and film one on this, this wax seal. I need more hands. Once it's melted enough. You thought the video froze? Maybe it did, I don't know. Maybe I am just steady. You think? Like, does it look like it froze? <laughs> uh, one more. Okay, one more blue wax chip. Got one more clear wax. <laughs> Almost a shame that the mannequin challenge isn't a thing this year rather than in the past when it was. I think hands only mannequin challenge. That was a weird trend, wasn't it? I mean, I know a lot most media generation trends are, but it just popped into my head. I'm going to swish the wax again. I'm going to touch it with my hands. I should stop doing that. But I never will. That will never stop. You could never, oh no. Shaky hands is a problem, but you know, you learn to live, I suppose. Oh, unfocus. Come on, camera, why are you fighting me today? It fights me every day. <laughs> Wait for the wax to melt. Wait for it to melt. Oh, I'm so sleepy. We're going to go for a nap after this. 
she is fine for everything but the mannequin challenge. That that is true. That is true. Like it's it's workable for anything except the mannequin challenge. Luckily, we're not going to actually do the mannequin challenge because because it, it that was years ago and I'm too old and I don't care enough. <laughs> Maybe we should come up with a new challenge. Can it be the take a nap immediately after stream challenge? <laughs> is that is that too on the nose? Because I will absolutely nail the take a nap immediately after stream challenge. I'd be so good at that. completely down excellent excellent because I've only got three more of these to go which will take a little while because we've got to wait for the wax to melt but then then we're in for the take a nap immediately after stream challenge Wax it in a little more. I'll do this. Yeah, so far this one is still the one that turned out best, I think. So I don't know which patron is getting this one, but. If it's you, then lucky you, you got the best one out of the batch. <laughs> Sometimes I do feel bad for the patrons that get ones with slightly fucked up seals on them, but I guess the whole point is that they're unique, right? Part of part of the charm is that it's they're all hand sealed, so you don't really know. You don't really know if I'm gonna do it perfectly or if I'm gonna accidentally fuck it up a bit. And that's, I hope that's part of the charm. I really do. And if it isn't, let's just pretend that it is. Squish the wax down a little more because I'm impatient. I realize I haven't been making that many main videos at all this year. I have a couple that were kind of in the works, but I'm not really, I don't, I don't know. I just don't know that they're worth finishing. There was one week long vlog that I did because I know I said I was going to do one per season, you know, a week in spring, a week in summer, a week in autumn and so on. But when I was editing it, I just didn't feel like it was worth finishing or that it would be worth watching in the future. It was just very odd, kind of, I don't know. I don't know. I just didn't feel worth finishing. So I'm not going to finish the one I filmed. I might just film another random week before summer is over and turn that into a video. But if not, then I'll just skip summer and go straight to autumn I guess. I also have another couple of clothing DIY videos that are in progress like they're they're mostly done the clothing DIY part is done I just need to film the bit where I actually sit and talk about it you know and I don't I, I don't know I don't know why I haven't done it yet but I haven't and I might still I've been posting a little bit about this on Patreon, so I guess like a lot of people already know what, what my thoughts are and what's going on. But I just feel like I've changed too much. I'll keep doing art videos though. 
And I'm quite enjoying doing these live streams of the wax sealing of all the rewards. Well, speaking of messing them up, this one is quite. Oh, I think I need to just do that one again, actually. Yikes. One there. Oh, I've never had a seal go like that before. Never ever. Oh. What? What happened there? Never seen that in my life. Weird. Okay, well, we'll... That one can be put aside for surgery later. <laughs> I've never seen that happen before. That's odd. I'm actually starting to feel like this clear wax might just be hot glue. That someone's made into little pellets and sold as sealing wax. Just from the way it moves and feels, I think it might just be hot glue. Which is a shame because it means I fell for it, but you know. It's just a thought. I don't know. I can't prove that. I don't know. I don't have any evidence for it other than working with it here a little bit. That's what I feel like. I'm pretty sure. Message redacted. What does that mean? Did YouTube censor something? Oh well. Such is life, I suppose. We live and learn. I can fix it. Probably. I don't know how extra sorry to whichever patron gets the extremely fucked up wax seal. You will get the first one that has ever been that fucked up though, so I don't know, it's still rare, maybe. Spelled no incorrectly. Okay, well that's fine, as long as YouTube isn't censoring you for no reason. I move these to the side so that we've got a little collection of them. Another video I was thinking of doing this summer is a, basically a haul of stuff that I bought this year when I said I wouldn't because I thought that would be funny. Because um, obviously my New Year's resolution at the start of this year was not to buy any more clothes. And I did not last. That didn't last at all. I'm completely back off the wagon on that one. Um, <laughs> so I thought it would be quite funny to just do a little haul of clothes I bought, even though I wasn't supposed to. I might do that. I really might. A self call out hall. Because it is too much stuff. I made a vintage account and everything, like within the last couple of months. I should probably just delete that app again, actually. It has not been good for my wallet. Well, 
not be good for my wardrobe specifically because you know how I am I dig through for things that are cheap enough and what I want but I always have this idea in my head of having less clothes and just wearing the same things over and over because I have certain specific styles that I wear every day right but I just I don't know I don't know I always end up with more and more instead of less and less which is the curse of modern capitalism I suppose Failed resolution hall. That's what I'll call it. Okay. That is way too widespread to be an effective seal, but. Here we are, all the same. Oh, see, that one started to lift too. Look, that one started to lift off. That is weird. Look at look at how it stretches, like the threads. That's absolutely hot glue, isn't it? All right, well, take it from me. If you see clear sealing wax being sold, it is hot glue. And it is not going to go well. I am going to try and fix that one that got messed up. But... Yeah, I guess heads up. That's uh, that's what that is. Right. Let's bring this one back in so that I can redo it. Luckily, the absolute last one has two blue wax chips to go in it, so I might just not add any of the clear stuff. It's just too risky. It's a mess. It's a mess. To be fair to me though, with the failed resolution haul idea, a lot of the clothes I bought this year were really fucking good and I would like to show them off and I do not regret buying them, but it's still a failed resolution. See if I can fix this. Okay. 
Almost, almost, oh my goodness, oh my god, okay, well. I guess everyone be warned about clear sealing wax, and I am so sorry to the patron that gets this one. I won't be using that wax again, so it will not happen again. Maybe I'll just put this one in a new envelope and do another one. Should we do that? It's not really fair to send one that's that messed up to a patron, is it? I'm going to get a new envelope. In the meantime, this can be melting. And I'm going to, as much as I would love to show you what I'm doing here, I don't want to give away what the print is before patrons see it. So, you just get to see me packaging the notes. But this one's getting a new envelope. I might also need a little bit more wax. I'm gonna wait for this chunk to melt. It's gonna take ages, it's a really big, big piece. And now that the glue wax is in there, it's in the spoon, so it's kind of gonna stick a little bit anyway. But hopefully it's balanced out enough that it's not gonna to be too much of a problem. Camera struggling to focus again. See, I always think to myself I should just delete Depop and Vintage and everything, but then I sell stuff through them, so I kind of need to have the apps there so that it can tell me when I've sold stuff. But then it's just too easy to browse for things that I want to buy. I also need to get back into learning to sew, although I haven't done any for a couple of months, but it's not like I did none of it. I did actually learn the basics and I have been able to use my sewing machine and I have been able to repair some clothes and alter some things. So I do feel like I achieved that resolution. I just didn't achieve the whole thing yet where I wanted to be able to make new clothes instead of buying them. But actually it's only August, so there's still time for me to to do that. 
maybe I'll just say from here, from right now, I'm starting again with not buying any clothes. I'll make my failed resolution haul video and that will be it. This is this is the end. Okay. Place your bets now on how long that's gonna last. <laughs> That melted enough to turn into a seal? I hope so. This one's a little chunkier, so it's harder to, it won't lay flat. Oh, you're about to get rid of a bunch of stuff too? Oh, stuff you made, that's cool. Turn off notifications. That's smart. Yeah. I mean, I have notifications off on almost my entire phone. But so long as the so long as the app is there, I just catch myself browsing it. I did turn on an app timer, actually. I literally have like a timer on, so I only get to spend half an hour a day on Depop on Vinted and eBay. That's it. That's all I get. But I still manage to find things that I like and build up wish lists and purchase things almost every week. <laughs> but hey, whatever. Such is life, eh? You have faith in me? Thank you. Thank you. Knowing someone believes in me helps. Yeah, but also, if I fail, the haul will be spectacular. I think I will do the my first half of the year haul. The, I failed for six months, but I'm starting again with not buying clothes. And then in December or something, I can do my second half of the year failure haul. Okay, this is the last one. This is the last piece of wax to melt, the last envelope to seal, and then it's time for a new challenge. Nap immediately after stream challenge. So I hope everyone who's watching in the future as well as right now, because I can see the little counter. It's just us here chatting right now. But people who watch in the future also also need to take part in this challenge nap immediately after stream. It's the rules. I'm coming up on one hour as well, which is pretty much always how long I stream for. Okay, here we go, the last one. There, that's much neater. Much better than the one that got really fucked up. Feel weird being the full convo. He don't. Don't worry about it. It's just us hanging out. Just I'm just gonna imagine you're sitting at the other side of the table, and we're just chilling here. Why am I still holding this? As if I need to melt more wax. I can go out. We're done. We're done. There we go.
ready to go. I'll post them tomorrow and they will be with patrons this week, most likely. Thank you all for being here. Especially thanks to you, Anna, if you never dies, because it is just as chill. I'll see y'all next month, probably. Probably, right? Like, I've been doing these most months. I know I skipped last month, but that's just how I am as a person. So, here we go. Patrons, get excited. Take care of yourselves. Bye.